Welcome back to JB Reviews. One of my friends, you guys know him, Ben Byerly. He has this beautiful 2024 GMC Sierra 3500 HT4. And he just bought a brand new Forest River Flagstaff Classic. This is a 361, Ben. How you doing? Hey, dude, it looks good. Yeah, I'm excited. It looks really good, yeah. It's a, it's a year in the making. Oh, really? So you've been doing this for a year, huh? Well, I've been talking to the sales guy for a year. Okay, okay. Now, did you build this one, inspect it out ordered, and everything? I ordered this one, yep, straight from the factory. Uh-huh. Um, because I knew I wanted to get the extra solar. Uh-huh, okay. To get the package so that, you know, dry camping, don't really want to run a generator all the time dry sure, camping. Sure, right? sure. Because you don't want to be that guy making all the noise. <laughs> <laughs> no, 100%. Now, you got to show them okay. what you added to the front. Okay. Let's go ahead and walk over, guys. I'll give Justin the credit, right? I took the idea because he had the Reese box on his, right? Uh -huh. With the airbag. So I started doing some research and I came across the shocker hitch. Watched some videos, did some research on it, and it has worked out really well. Nice. I need to air it down a little bit to kind of get the sweet spot. You got to play with it a little bit, mm -hmm. like they say. Um, but yes, it's worked out really well. It's got the airbag system on there. And it is a straight gooseneck, as wow. you guys can see. That's awesome. Yeah, I cannot wait to test this out because I haven't towed with anything other than my Reese Goose Box and some fifth wheel hitches, but it's adjustable. So be sure to subscribe to your channel, guys. We're gonna do a separate video for this, but let's go ahead and hop inside. Okay. Since it's raining a little bit, then hopefully in a little bit, it'll kind of subside a little bit. Are those assisted? Yeah, I could let them go, but they'll hit a little bit hard. Oh, okay, never mind. yeah. All right, so, so we're gonna show you guys with the slides in first, so we have an idea. Whenever you buy an RV, this is the one thing everyone skips. And so with this one, you can still kind of get to the refrigerator, but actually, you know what? This is actually a lot better than most. You can step here over and kind of get through here if you need to get stuff out, but your refrigerator is kind of uh, blocked off a little bit, mm -hmm. but I like how you can still get to your sink. You can wash your hands. You can wash some dishes, things like that. I mean, you can put some stuff in here if you like. And then up here, yep. oh, the bedroom. So you have two slides back here. Those are both rack and pinions. Yes. Nice. And then you have the bedroom slide. So even getting into your bedroom, you can still climb over the bed, get to the closet. Yep. All nice. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pop out all the slides. Okay. And then we'll show them around. Now, uh, check this out, guys. I have never done a video on a flag staff. And now I wish I have because maybe I would have ended up on one of these. So Ben, why Flagstaff? So I went to a couple different dealers and I looked at a couple different types of RVs, you know, and originally I started out thinking, well, I'm going to get a bumper pull. Mm -hmm. And I went down to Bish's down in, what is it, American Fork right there, right? Off of 500. Uh, Utah people will know where that is. Mm -hmm. um, and I fell in love with one of their bumper pulls, which had a glass cap, right? You don't see those glass cap, see-through, kitchen right in front of it, right? So you can just picture yourself, right? Making lunch, dinner, whatever, just looking out into oh, the, yeah. you know, into the woods or wherever you're, wherever you're camped. And it was about a 32, 34 foot. Okay. And I started looking at the price and I said, you know what? How does the fifth wheel compare to the bumper pull when you get into this style of RV and camping and whatnot? And it was reasonably close. I was like, man, you know, I could jump up to a fifth wheel, mm -hmm. not, you know, not this model, but kind of a, a basic model, a little bit longer for about the same price. Mm. And then we started looking at the fifth wheels, my wife and I, and then we came to, narrowed it down to three different ones. And it was later in the year. So we've been, like I said, we've been working on this for a year. I went back in January last year. Mm -hmm. Found my sales guy, PJ, over there at Vicious. Great guy. If you guys <laughs> go over there, right, I give him a little plug. Um, but we did. We stopped in probably 
three or four times over the year and looked at different models. Went out to the home show, talked to his regional sales manager mm -hmm. that works directly with the factory, right? Got some more information, got the new layout for the 2024, and they made some significant upgrades, right? Nice. Just like trucks and cars and everything, mm -hmm. you're always getting something more. And it actually, it turned out because I actually increased the solar package, right? So I oh, nice. ended up with six panels on top, 200 watt panels. So we're looking at 1200 watts of solar, plus a 3400 watt inverter, and a big, big, big lithium battery. Yes. Yep, did you yeah. get some footage of that? Yeah, oh yeah, we'll, we'll show that in a little bit. But yeah. um, guys, like I said, the solar package from Keystone was always my favorite, mm -hmm. but the price point of what Forest River with the Flagstaff has done is probably the best. Yes. Um, I, I don't know what you paid in terms of pricing because you got discounts and like that, but mm -hmm. if you are looking at RVs, I think that Forest River with the Flagstaff might be the best price one I've seen so far, especially for what they give you because the battery is huge. Huge battery. Yeah, huge. It's like six batteries almost. That's what it looks like to me up there. Well, it, it is. <laughs> I, and I think it's, I got to do some more research on it, right? Because it's the first time that they've actually ordered in a solar package ah. because they just don't carry them on the lot because people are like, man, that solar package is killing it. Yeah. Right? So, but I do a lot of dry camping mm -hmm. and that's. Like I said, I don't want to have to run the generator, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you came over last night. We were kind of playing around with some stuff. I can run everything off this solar package except for the fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's crazy. Yeah, because yeah, you have a 12-volt refrigerator. Yes. And the TV's 12-volt. All your outlets are going to be able to yeah, run off of that. All outlets are hot. Yeah, exactly. Inside and out. Yeah, and you told me that your AC units had the soft starts on them yes, too. Yes, they do have the soft starts. Yeah. So it upgraded the soft starts with the solar package. Nice. So you got the extra panels, you got the larger inverter, you got all hot outlets inside and out, uh, the soft start, and extra max airflow. Mm hmm. So you have three in total. It's three in total. Yeah. And really, with that, a couple open windows, mm -hmm. AC is almost, you know, never going to be run. Yeah, exactly. Right? No, that's awesome. So. Yeah, but let's go ahead and show them around the rig, okay. and then um, yeah, let's first start off with this couch because you showed me something the other day. Oh, let's go ahead and pull yes. it all out. Let's do that. Nice. I don't know if you guys can see this, but you obviously have one side that could be a bed. Either one, either side. You can either, go either yeah, side. Yeah, side. That's so nice. it's two twins that pull out to make a queen, right? So you can do one or the other. So it doesn't clutter up, right? Yeah. So a lot of RVs, if you use the hide a bed, that makes your space unusable, right? Mm -hmm. and especially in the older ones, because they stuck them right by the door. Yep. And then you're trying to fight with like a little three foot <laughs> section, right? You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. And a lot of RVer guys out there are gonna be like, I know exactly what he's talking mm -hmm. about. So this was new to 2024. Nice. And they didn't even know about it, right? So the sale, PJ was shocked. Even the uh, the service guy that walked me around yeah. and was explaining everything, he's like, "What?" It is a big couch too. You could probably sit four people here and see uh, and see a lot of people don't know this. Once you vacuum this all out, obviously, yes, you have storage down here. Oh yeah, you know which is yeah. nice because see we had the couch on the back of our rear living mm -hmm. fifth wheel and we we put blankets back here stuff like that. Okay, but yeah, that's nice so, though. So the other thing, and you've got to sit down and try it out, right? Uh -huh. Lay down on that. Because what's the other thing about a hide a bed that everybody just drips? What's that? It's the bar in the back. Oh, true. Yes, yes. Right? So you're saying there's no bar here? Lay down on there. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, guys. This is... No, no. This is actually pretty good. There yes. is no bar. There's no bar. Because normally it's like right here somewhere. Yes. Right there in the back. Yeah. And there's no bar. There's no bar. Wow. And this is pretty long, too. I'm six foot one. And... With my head all the way back, figure out the pillow, I'm pretty much covered. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's impressive. I was super shocked with that. Mm -hmm. And it makes it it makes it great, right? Oh yeah. I'll probably put the one out by the fireplace. You still have all this open room mm -hmm. and you still can watch the TV. Yep, right here. And that's what a 40 inch, 40, 50 inch in that ballpark? Something like that. Yeah. So what do you not see right here, right, that is in every RV? The divider. Well, besides that. 
In every RV. Every RV. I don't know. Your info system. So there's no DVD. There's oh, no you're radio. Oh, right. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah, because they know put like right here. Right there. And what's the first thing to go out? <laughs> that radio. <laughs> that radio. <laughs> So is that what you're talking about right there? Yeah, so that is a Wi-Fi speaker, mm -hmm. right? And it's run through the TV, right? So I've only had this for a couple days. i got to sit down and, and play with everything, right? Turn yeah. on the TV, do that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's insane. Yeah. And one thing I always like to point out on RVs is this. Believe it or not, especially out here in Utah, if you don't want to have to run your ACs, if you do have the Max Airs, because he has two in this area, Having those on with this will keep this area temperature down pretty nicely. Oh yeah. And if you do have to run AC, this does help to push that air around this area too, which mm -hmm. is nice. But yeah, check out the countertop space too you have. Like that's pretty insane. And I do like that they don't give you that divider because again, this RV looks huge on the mm -hmm. inside. It's only 36 foot, right? 36 foot, yes. And you see how they've made this island a little bit narrower too? That really makes the space feel a lot bigger. Like look how much floor space you have. They kind of took something from Alliance, not putting the air vents on the floor, but putting them on the island too. And I love that they did that. That's a really nice feature to have. Mm -hmm. And you said that some of the floor plans has the sink here on yes, the island. There's a couple floor plans that have the sink in the island. Yeah. And yours is right over there. It's right over there. How does the wife like it over there? Um, you know, that was kind of the biggest drawback. She liked one. I liked a different one. Uh -huh. And this is, you know, we met in the middle. And the, one of the things I was like, man, the sink's kind of far from everything, right? But in reality, when you get in here, mm -hmm. it's right there. You're good to go because you have the island. And you got counter space for the sink, right? You got the stove here with the microwave and, I mean, the big fridge. Yeah, it's huge. Let's go and open it up. So as we said earlier, 12-volt refrigerator. And you have a chest down below yep. there. Chest freezer and ice maker. Oh, it has an ice maker too. Ice maker too. Wow. That's insane. Oh, okay. I see a little shovel thing right here. Yep. For, okay, that's nice. Look how deep this is. You can get steaks in here. You can get everything in there. Oh, you can live in this. Yeah, right? absolutely. So it's a full three season, mm -hmm. livable four season, depending on where you go. Mm -hmm. And plenty of space, right? Yeah. So if you're an empty nester, maybe large dog or dog, and you want to get out and just travel the U.S., mm -hmm. this is it. Yeah, this is. Well, even also, if you need to cook, I mean, you have a pantry right here. I see. Yep. I'll show that to you guys in a second. But you have three burners, right? Yep, three burners. And your oven. Uh, huge. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Look at that. You can cook turkey in there. Cook a turkey. <laughs> we have soft closed drawers, too. Not these, actually, but these the drawers, drawers over there. Yes. A little bit of storage below your island. Which will have my pots and pans. Oh, yeah. And these look pretty sturdy, too. Yep. Now, you have a trash can over, too, don't you? Yes. Yep. Oh, yeah, right. That's where it's supposed to be at, too, right? Below yeah. the sink. I right like that. There. And you know what? They gave it to me. It came nice. with the trailer. Nice. I know that's nice. And then right here, this is your pantry. Yep. So it's not too deep, which I like. And you know what else is funny is the spatula that's in there uh -huh. came with the trailer. The spatula came with the trailer? The spatula too? came with the trailer. I like how they're starting to do that too. They're giving yeah. you a little bit more stuff that you don't have to buy. And that's, oh, yeah. those and are just you, nice things. And you don't even realize it, right? You're like, what? There's trash in there? <laughs> spatula? What's going on here, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah, check this out. You got some axon lights. I'll show you guys some footage like with all the lights turned off with the axon lights. Looks really nice. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up this storage here okay. so they can see this too. Because this is... So we have some stuff in there. Oh, that's okay. I see you at the Costco. Yeah, we went to Costco, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, you went to Costco, all right. <laughs> yeah, there's all the storage there. So that's what's nice about this rig. You do have the- Storage underneath. Yeah, storage underneath, yep, there you go. Storage underneath there. And, and it they're pretty deep. All the way back. Yes, nice. See, I don't mind it. See, I either like it this way or they give it to you on the outside. Yes. Either way, but these are a little narrow, so I like how they did it for the inside here. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. most of the time, it's just going to be a flip-up. you mm -hmm. got to take off the cushions, yep. flip it up. Yeah. And then check out the windows, too. Like, you have windows pretty much all the way around, yep. out back. And they give you a window where the stove is, too. So you get a lot of natural light inside the rig, too. Yes. I, I like that they do that. Well, not only that, so you have your, your blackout 
basically yes. blind, right? But they give you a privacy one too, right? Which are these white ones here, right? Well, the, so you have the black one back here. Oh yeah, the shade. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the shade. Nice. And the windows are dark, mm -hmm. so you're not seeing into the windows. So you still have the sun, and it still blocks it out. You can still see out. Yeah. So you have the double, the double blind on that, and that's all the way around. This one's a, a metal one, right? Because mm -hmm. of the stove. Yep, that's true. Yeah, and then you just have your love seat here with the removable centerpiece too. Yep, removable centerpiece. Yep. All right. So comes what comes in this is actually motion sensor. So uh -huh. when you walk by it, it lights up. That's nice. It's all push button. It's always, you know, walk, tell you everything's accurate. Mm -hmm. Gives you all your button. And a lot of things that a lot of people love is it's up high, right? So mm. your young kids can't play with it. True. That is nice. That is very nice. Like, I didn't even notice that. That's pretty cool. Huh. So, yeah. And then when you come up in here, one of the things that I loved about the Flagstaff is in the shower. Mm -hmm. You have the blue pipe down here. Oh yeah. Right, so it has a water circulation, and when it warms up and gets warm, mm -hmm. it actually goes red. So you don't freeze waiting for the water to come out. You're just right there. That is nice. You have under counter sink there, I see. Yep. A little bit of storage. A little bit of storage and deep storage. That is nice. Porcelain toilet too. I'm most likely oh, guessing. Yeah. Yep. Porcelain toilet. And one of the other things I love about this. A lot of the older RVs, right? You go into the bathroom, you try to wash your hands uh -huh. or brush your teeth, right? What are you hitting? Medicine cap. Yeah, oh yeah, right? true. Yep. You're beating your head up yep. trying to use the sink, right? It's not like that in it's here. True. It's you, like not as deep. Not as deep. So yeah. you're you have space. Yeah, I like that. It's really nice. Now something else. I looked at your floors. And I didn't see something. There's no carpet. Well, yeah. there's little carpet, right? Because you've got your slide over here. But other than that, there's no carpet. Easy to clean. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's. They call that marine grade carpet or something like that. So it's oh, not like a, like a fabric. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So it doesn't mildew mm -hmm. and and whatnot. So what else do we have? I know you like under storage I for love shoes, that. right? Oh yeah. That's a big thing. We have that up here, not in the stairs, mm -hmm. but. And then also, in the closet, we have washer dryer prep. Mmm. Nice. And that was just part of this, this model was the washer dryer prep. Yeah, shrinkflation on the wall here. They used to give you TVs before 2019. Mm -hmm. every, almost every RV, especially a fifth wheel, will come with, with a, a TV, TV on the wall. But now, and they we don't. opted not to do that, right? Because we come in, we want to go to bed, right? Yeah, I don't want to come in that. and then end up watching TV. Yes, no, I, I agree with that. And you have two 15K AC units I saw yeah. online too. A lot of storage, you have under the bed storage. Yes. Love the USBs and power outlets they put and beside the bed. Oh yeah, and you have a place to put stuff up there. So if you want to read your book or mm -hmm. if you don't want to put it on the floor. And one thing I'll say is you don't want to put stuff on the floor sometimes because sometimes it can get caught under the slides and it can uh -huh. cause issues. So I like that they give you those little nightstands by the by the bed. Yeah, and you get dimming. Everything's a dimming light. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's like so we turn it off, it just kind of dims, dims down. Dims I, down. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You ready to go outside? Let's go outside. Let's, Let's go. go play in the rain for a few minutes. <laughs> and, uh... We've made it outside. It's finally stopped raining, and you guys can pretty much see the colors. So you have some grays, some greens, and obviously the majority of the shell is white. I believe it has PVC roofing. Yes. I believe it is. Most RVs are kind of doing that now. There is some accent lighting on the front end. Storage on the front of the RV is kind of limited because of the solar that you guys saw earlier. They do provide lights down below here. Uh, automatic or auto leveling. Auto leveling. Yep, yep. auto leveling through Lippert. Now the storage, you like your storage? I love this storage. Storage looks good. All the way through, it's straight through. Yeah, I like that. That's why you buy a fifth wheel right here, guys. Having that pass-through storage is crucial. 12 gallon, and that's gas and electric too. Yes. And you said something about the awnings the other day. You said that they have like a little covering on them to protect so they, them. they have a plastic cover that rolls up and covers the whole thing so you're protected against hail, sun damage, nice. and all of that. That's nice. That's really nice. And you want to show them your handle? This, oh, yeah. this little, this is yeah. a new like technology. For 2024, <laughs> right? Yeah. And it's it's funny that they're like, for 2024, this is what you get, right? 
So it, it's functional, right? Yes. Because the other ones, it's a little bracket, uh -huh. comes a little ways off, but this is functional. I know, I like that. You have two awnings too, by the way. Yes, I just noticed two awnings. that. Goodyear tires. And what kind of suspension do you have? It's torsion suspension. Oh man, jealous right there, buddy. I like the torsion. I have it on my um, race trailer. Oh, do you? And I feel like it does help with keeping it stable on the roads. Uh -huh. Nitrogen air for the tires too. Those are 16 inch wheels, by the way. And it's a four point auto leveling system. Spare tires down here. You can actually tow a trailer back here, I saw too. Yes. 3,000 pounds, 300 pounds of hitch weight. And they give you a four pin, uh, four see pin, down there. Yes. LED and lights. You have a uh, backup cam. Oh yeah. Uh, wired yeah. and pre-wired. Yeah, pre-wired. And your 50 amp plugs out back too. 50 amp plugs. And you have some storage on this side. Let's show them that storage really quickly. Okay. There it is. There we go. So you have, I mean, it's tall storage. Oh yeah. Tall storage, you have good uh, hardware too for your locks. Yes. I like that. And it's magnetic. Yes, yes, yes. So you don't have to use like a little handle or something like that to keep yeah. it up. Dual paint windows too, right? You upgraded yes. that. You upgraded the windows. Yes, that's good stuff. And it looks like it's already prepped for awning or slide toppers, whatever you want to call yes, them. Yes, so it's prepped for the slide toppers. Yeah, you only have one spot to dump from, I see, right here. Yep, one dump. And then this is back of the refrigerator. Yes. And then, yeah, you're, all your valves are in one spot, which is nice, suburban heater. This is where your wet bay is. Yes. And they've made it so that you uh, really don't have to think too much about it. Because they <laughs> give you all the yes. different settings on how to set stuff up when you're using different things. We have a filter system comes yes. with the trailer. That's awesome. And then this is the other side. Yep. This is your bedroom slide out. Yes. Propane's here. And let's take a look at the numbers too. So. This is a 3500. Do you guys think he has enough truck? I mean, you do, truck, yes. you do have a lot of solar here. I don't know. You might actually have a dually, right? I'm just no, kidding. So, you know what? <laughs> the dually might be more stable, but we're going to be hitting the cat scale here oh, yeah. pretty soon. So we'll have some weight numbers on that. Oh yeah. Um, so dry weight on this is right at 11,000 pounds. Wow. Right here? Yep. Right. You're not even lying. Right at 11,000, 10, 9, 57. And then gross. It's 12, 218, 250, 200 pound axles, and you have 12, see, this right here, 1,202 pounds of cargo capacity. And the, re and the reason why is because, well, the, uh, what do you call it, the solar system is mm. so heavy on this RV. Yes. It does take a lot of that, but it's still, you're not full timing. No. So that's more than enough for you guys. Correct. Yeah, and of course, some of that weight is on the truck too. So you're still fine. As long as you stay under those axles, you're good to go. But yeah, thank you so much, man, for bringing it out. I am so happy we had a chance to see the RV. And I think you did great. I think this is probably one of the best like iterations of a mid-profile I've seen in a while. Yes. And I'm actually impressed. I mean, 30-pound propane tanks, I'm not sure if we pointed it out to you guys, but a lot of things that came with this RV, like it has a heat pump, two 15K AC units. Like, there's a lot of nice features for this rig. So if you are in the market, Bish is where you got it from? Bish's RV. Okay. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video because we're going to be going over the shocker hitch. And are we going to unhook? We're going to unhook. Let's go ahead and unhook now and let's go ahead and get ready for that video. Be sure to subscribe to your channel okay. and make sure your bell notification on so you don't miss any uploads. See you guys soon.